Wikipedia WikiHPD or Wiki, is a multilingual free online encyclopedia written and maintained by a community of volunteers through open collaboration and a wiki-based editing system. Its editors are known as Wikipedians. Wikipedia is the largest and most read reference work in history. It is consistently one of the ten most popular websites ranked by SimilarWeb and formerly Alexa. As of 2022, Wikipedia was ranked the seventh most popular site. It is hosted by the Wikimedia Foundation, an American non-profit organization funded mainly through donations. On January 15, 2001, Jimmy Wales and Larry Sanger launched Wikipedia. Sanger coined its name as a blend of wiki and encyclopedia. Wales was influenced by the spontaneous order ideas associated with Friedrich Hayek and the Austrian School of Economics after being exposed to these ideas by Austrian economist and Mises Institute senior fellow Mark Thornton. Initially available only in English, versions in other languages were quickly developed. Its combined editions comprise more than 59 million articles, attracting around 2 billion unique device visits per month and more than 17 million edits per month as of November 2020. In 2006, Time magazine stated that the policy of allowing anyone to edit had made Wikipedia the biggest encyclopedia in the world. Wikipedia has received praise for its enablement of the democratization of knowledge, extent of coverage, unique structure, culture, and reduced degree of commercial bias but criticism for exhibiting systemic bias, particularly gender bias against women and alleged ideological bias. The reliability of Wikipedia was frequently criticized in the 2000s but has improved over time, as Wikipedia has been generally praised in the late 2010s and early 2020s. The website's coverage of controversial topics such as American politics and major events like the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russian invasion of Ukraine has received substantial media attention. It has been censored by world governments, ranging from specific pages to the entire site. In April 2018, Facebook and YouTube announced that they would help users detect fake news by suggesting fact-checking links to related Wikipedia articles. Articles on breaking news are often accessed as a source of frequently updated information about those events. Etymology The Spaniards gave the name Los Californias to the peninsula of Baja California and to Alta California, the latter region becoming the present-day state of California. The name likely derived from the mythical island of California in the fictional story of Queen Calafia as recorded in a 1510 work The Adventures of Esplandian by Garci Rodriguez de Montalvo. This work was the fifth in a popular Spanish chivalric romance series that began with Amadis de Gala. Queen Calafia's kingdom was said to be a remote land rich in gold and pearls, inhabited by beautiful black women who wore gold armor and lived like Amazons, as well as griffins and other strange beasts. In the fictional paradise, the ruler Queen Calafia fought alongside Muslims and her name may have been chosen to echo the title of a Muslim leader, the Caliph. Know ye that at the right hand of the Indies there is an island called California, very close to that part of the terrestrial paradise, which was inhabited by black women without a single man among them, and they lived in the manner of Amazons. They were robust of body with strong passionate hearts and great virtue. The island itself is one of the wildest in the world on account of the bold and craggy rocks. Shortened forms of the state's name include CA, Cal, Cali, California, Califas, and US CA. History First inhabitants Settled by successive waves of arrivals during at least the last 13,000 years, California was one of the most culturally and linguistically diverse areas in pre Columbian North America. Various estimates of the native population have ranged from 100,000 to 300,000. The indigenous peoples of California included more than 70 distinct ethnic groups of Native Americans, ranging from large, settled populations living on the coast to groups in the interior. 
California groups also were diverse in their political organization with bands, tribes, villages, and on the resource-rich coasts, large chiefdoms, such as the Chumash, Pomo, and Salinan. Trade, intermarriage, and military alliances fostered many social and economic relationships among the diverse groups. Spanish Period The first Europeans to explore the coast of California were the members of a Spanish maritime expedition led by Portuguese Captain Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo in 1542. Cabrillo was commissioned by Antonio de Mendoza, the Viceroy of New Spain, to lead an expedition up the Pacific coast in search of trade opportunities, they entered San Diego Bay on September 28, 1542, and reached at least as far north as San Miguel Island. Privateer and explorer Francis Drake explored and claimed an undefined portion of the California coast in 1579, landing north of the future city of San Francisco. Sebastian Vizcano explored and mapped the coast of California in 1602 for New Spain, putting ashore in Monterey. Despite the on-the-ground explorations of California in the 16th century, Rodriguez's idea of California as an island persisted. Such depictions appeared on many European maps well into the 18th century. The Portola expedition of 1769 to 70 was a pivotal event in the Spanish colonization of California, resulting in the establishment of numerous missions, presidios, and pueblos. The military and civil contingent of the expedition was led by Gaspar de Portola, who traveled overland from Sonora into California while the religious component was headed by Junipero Serra, who came by sea from Baja California. In 1769, Portola and Serra established Mission San Diego de Alcala and the Presidio of San Diego, the first religious and military settlements founded by the Spanish in California. By the end of the expedition in 1770, they would establish the Presidio of Monterey and Mission San Carlos Baromeo de Carmelo on Monterey Bay. After the Portola expedition, Spanish missionaries led by Father President Serra set out to establish 21 Spanish missions of California along El Camino Real and along the Californian coast, 16 sites of which having been chosen during the Portola expedition. Numerous major cities in California grew out of missions, including San Francisco, San Diego, Ventura, or Santa Barbara, among others. Juan Bautista de Anza led a similarly important expedition throughout California in 1775-76, which would extend deeper into the interior and north of California. The Anza expedition selected numerous sites for missions, presidios, and pueblos, which subsequently would be established by settlers. Gabriel Moraga, a member of the expedition, would also christen many of California's prominent rivers with their names in 1775-1776, such as the Sacramento River and the San Joaquin River. After the expedition, Gabriel's son, José Joaquín Moraga, would found the Pueblo of San José in 1777, making it the first civilian-established city in California. During this same period, sailors from the Russian Empire explored along the northern coast of California. In 1812, the Russian-American Company established a trading post and small fortification at Fort Ross on the north coast. Fort Ross was primarily used to supply Russia's Alaskan colonies with food supplies. The settlement did not meet much success failing to attract settlers or establish long-term trade viability, and was abandoned by 1841. During the War of Mexican Independence, Alta California was largely unaffected and uninvolved in the revolution, though many Californios supported independence from Spain, which many believed had neglected California and limited its development. Spain's trade monopoly on California had limited the trade prospects of Californians. Following Mexican independence, Californian ports were freely able to trade with foreign merchants. 
Governor Pablo Vicente de Sola presided over the transition from Spanish colonial rule to independent Mexican rule. Mexican period In 1821, the Mexican War of Independence gave the Mexican Empire independence from Spain. For the next 25 years, Alta California remained a remote, sparsely populated, northwestern administrative district of the newly independent country of Mexico, which shortly after independence became a republic. The missions, which controlled most of the best land in the state, were secularized by 1834 and became the property of the Mexican government. The governor granted many square leagues of land to others with political influence. These huge ranchos or cattle ranches emerged as the dominant institutions of Mexican California. The ranchos developed under ownership by Californios who traded cowhides and tallow with Boston merchants. Beef did not become a commodity until the 1849 California Gold Rush. From the 1820s, trappers and settlers from the United States and Canada began to arrive in Northern California. These new arrivals used the Siskiyou Trail, California Trail, Oregon Trail, and Old Spanish Trail to cross the rugged mountains and harsh deserts in and surrounding California. The early government of the newly independent Mexico was highly unstable, and in a reflection of this, from 1831 onwards, California also experienced a series of armed disputes, both internal and with the central Mexican government. During this tumultuous political period Juan Bautista Alvarado was able to secure the governorship during 1836-1842. The military action which first brought Alvarado to power had momentarily declared California to be an independent state, and had been aided by Anglo-American residents of California including Isaac Graham. In 1840, 100 of those residents who did not have passports were arrested, leading to the Graham Affair, which was resolved in part with the intercession of Royal Navy officials. One of the largest ranchers in California was John Marsh. After failing to obtain justice against squatters on his land from the Mexican courts, he determined that California should become part of the United States. Marsh conducted a letter-writing campaign espousing the California climate, the soil, and other reasons to settle there, as well as the best route to follow, which became known as Marsh's Route. His letters were read, reread, passed around, and printed in newspapers throughout the country, and started the first wagon trains rolling to California. He invited immigrants to stay on his ranch until they could get settled and assisted in their obtaining passports. After ushering in the period of organized emigration to California, Marsh became involved in a military battle between the much-hated Mexican general, Manuel Michel Torina, and the California governor he had replaced, Juan Bautista Alvarado. The armies of each met at the Battle of Providencia near Los Angeles. Marsh had been forced against his will to join Michel Torina's army. Ignoring his superiors, during the battle, he signaled the other side for a parley. There were many settlers from the United States fighting on both sides. He convinced these men that they had no reason to be fighting each other. As a result of Marsh's actions, they abandoned the fight, Michel Torino was defeated, and California-born P.I.O. Pico was returned to the governorship. This paved the way to California's ultimate acquisition by the United States. U.S. Conquest and the California Republic In 1846, a group of American settlers in and around Sonoma rebelled against Mexican rule during the Bear Flag Revolt. Afterward, rebels raised the Bear Flag at Sonoma. The Republic's only president was William B.I.D., who played a pivotal role during the Bear Flag Revolt. This revolt by American settlers served as a prelude to the later American military invasion of California and was closely coordinated with nearby American military commanders. The California Republic was short-lived, 
the same year marked the outbreak of the Mexican-American War. Commodore John D. Sloat of the United States Navy sailed into Monterey Bay in 1846 and began the U.S. military invasion of California, with Northern California capitulating in less than a month to the United States forces. In Southern California, Californios continued to resist American forces. Notable military engagements of the conquest include the Battle of San Pasqual and the Battle of Dominguez Rancho in Southern California, as well as the Battle of Alampali and the Battle of Santa Clara in Northern California. After a series of defensive battles in the South, the Treaty of Cahuenga was signed by the Californios on January 13, 1847, securing a censure and establishing de facto American control in California. Early American Period Following the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo that ended the war, the westernmost portion of the annexed Mexican territory of Alta California soon became the American state of California, and the remainder of the old territory was then subdivided into the new American territories of Arizona, Nevada, Colorado, and Utah. The even more lightly populated and arid lower region of Old Baja California remained as a part of Mexico. In 1846, the total settler population of the western part of the old Alta California had been estimated to be no more than 8,000, plus about 100,000 Native Americans, down from about 300,000 before Hispanic settlement in 1769. In 1848, only one week before the official American annexation of the area, gold was discovered in California this being an event which was to forever alter both the state's demographics and its finances. Soon afterward, a massive influx of immigration into the area resulted, as prospectors and miners arrived by the thousands. The population burgeoned with United States citizens, Europeans, Chinese and other immigrants during the Great California Gold Rush. By the time of California's application for statehood in 1850, the settler population of California had multiplied to 100,000. By 1854, more than 300,000 settlers had come. Between 1847 and 1870, the population of San Francisco increased from 500 to 150,000. The seat of government for California under Spanish and later Mexican rule had been located in Monterey from 1777 until 1845. P.I.O. Pico, the last Mexican governor of Alta California, had briefly moved the capital to Los Angeles in 1845. The United States consulate had also been located in Monterey, under Consul Thomas O. Larkin. In 1849, a state constitutional convention was first held in Monterey. Among the first tasks of the convention was a decision on a location for the new state capital. The first full legislative sessions were held in San Jose. Subsequent locations included Vallejo, and nearby Benicia, these locations eventually proved to be inadequate as well. The capital has been located in Sacramento since 1854 with only a short break in 1862 when legislative sessions were held in San Francisco due to flooding in Sacramento. Once the state's constitutional convention had finalized its state constitution, it applied to the U.S. Congress for admission to statehood. On September 9, 1850, as part of the Compromise of 1850, California became a free state and September 9 a state holiday. During the American Civil War, California sent gold shipments eastward to Washington in support of the Union. However, due to the existence of a large contingent of pro-South sympathizers within the state, the state was not able to muster any full military regiments to send eastwards to officially serve in the Union war effort. Still, several smaller military units within the Union Army were unofficially associated with the state of California, such as the California 100 Company, due to a majority of their members being from California. 
At the time of California's admission into the Union, travel between California and the rest of the continental United States had been a time-consuming and dangerous feat 19 years later, and seven years after it was greenlight by President Lincoln, the first transcontinental railroad was completed in 1869. California was then reachable from the eastern states in a week's time. Much of the state was extremely well suited to fruit cultivation and agriculture in general. Vast expanses of wheat, other cereal crops, vegetable crops, cotton and nut and fruit trees were grown, and the foundation was laid for the state's prodigious agricultural production in the Central Valley and elsewhere. In the 19th century, a large number of migrants from China traveled to the state as part of the gold rush or to seek work. Even though the Chinese proved indispensable in building the transcontinental railroad from California to Utah, perceived job competition with the Chinese led to anti-Chinese riots in the state, and eventually the U.S. ended migration from China partially as a response to pressure from California with the 1882 Chinese Exclusion Act. California Genocide 1900 Present In the 20th century, thousands of Japanese people migrated to the U.S. and California specifically to attempt to purchase and own land in the state. However, the state in 1913 passed the Alien Land Act, excluding Asian immigrants from owning land. During World War II, Japanese Americans in California were interned in concentration camps such as at Tule Lake and Manzanar. In 2020, California officially apologized for this internment. Migration to California accelerated during the early 20th century with the completion of major transcontinental highways like the Lincoln Highway and Route 66. In the period from 1900 to 1965, the population grew from fewer than 1 million to the greatest in the Union. In 1940, the Census Bureau reported California's population as 6.0% Hispanic, 2.4% Asian, and 89.5% non-Hispanic white. To meet the population's needs, major engineering feats like the California and Los Angeles aqueducts, the Oroville and Shasta dams, and the Bay and Golden Gate bridges were built across the state. The state government also adopted the California Master Plan for Higher Education in 1960 to develop a highly efficient system of public education. Meanwhile, attracted to the mild Mediterranean climate, cheap land, and the state's wide variety of geography, filmmakers established the studio system in Hollywood in the 1920s. California manufactured 8.7% of total United States military armaments produced during World War II, ranking third among the 48 states. California however easily ranked first in production of military ships during the war at dry dock facilities in San Diego, Los Angeles, and the San Francisco Bay Area. After World War II, California's economy greatly expanded due to strong aerospace and defense industries whose size decreased following the end of the Cold War. Stanford University and its Dean of Engineering Frederick Terman began encouraging faculty and graduates to stay in California instead of leaving the state, and develop a high-tech region in the area now known as Silicon Valley. As a result of these efforts, California is regarded as a world center of the entertainment and music industries, of technology, engineering, and the aerospace industry and as the United States Center of Agricultural Production. Just before the dot-com bust, California had the fifth largest economy in the world among nations. In the mid and late 20th century, a number of race-related incidents occurred in the state. Tensions between police and African Americans, combined with unemployment and poverty in inner cities, led to violent riots such as the 1965 Watts Riots and 1992 Rodney King Riots. California was also the hub of the Black Panther Party, a group known for arming African Americans to defend against racial injustice and for organizing free breakfast programs for school children. Additionally, Mexican, Filipino, 
and other migrant farm workers rallied in the state around Cesar Chavez for better pay in the 1960s and 1970s. During the 20th century, two great disasters happened in California. The 1906 San Francisco earthquake and 1928 St. Francis Dam flood remain the deadliest in U.S. history. Although air pollution problems have been reduced, health problems associated with pollution have continued. The brown haze known as smog has been substantially abetted after the passage of federal and state restrictions on automobile exhaust. An energy crisis in 2001 led to rolling blackouts, soaring power rates, and the importation of electricity from neighboring states. Southern California Edison and Pacific Gas and Electric Company came under heavy criticism. Housing prices in urban areas continued to increase. A modest home which in the 1960s cost $25,000 would cost half a million dollars or more in urban areas by 2005. More people commuted longer hours to afford a home in more rural areas while earning larger salaries in the urban areas. Speculators bought houses they never intended to live in, expecting to make a huge profit in a matter of months, then rolling it over by buying more properties. Mortgage companies were compliant, as everyone assumed the prices would keep rising. The bubble burst in 2007 8 as housing prices began to crash and the boom years ended. Hundreds of billions in property values vanished and foreclosures soared as many financial institutions and investors were badly hurt. In the 21st century, droughts and frequent wildfires attributed to climate change have occurred in the state. From 2011 to 2017, a persistent drought was the worst in its recorded history. The 2018 wildfire season was the state's deadliest and most destructive, most notably Camp Fire. Although air pollution problems have been reduced, health problems associated with pollution have continued. The brown haze that is known as smog has been substantially abetted thanks to federal and state restrictions on automobile exhaust. Point one of the first confirmed COVID-19 cases in the United States that occurred in California was first of which was confirmed on January 26, 2020. Meaning, all of the early confirmed cases were persons who had recently traveled to China and Asia, as testing was restricted to this group. On this January 29, 2020, as disease containment protocols were still being developed, the U.S. Department of State evacuated 195 persons from Wuhan, China aboard a chartered flight to March Air Reserve Base in Riverside County, and in this process, it may have granted and conferred to escalated within the land and the U.S. at Cosmic. On February 5, 2020, the U.S. evacuated 345 more citizens from Hubei province to two military bases in California, Travis Air Force Base in Solano County and Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, San Diego, where they were quarantined for 14 days. A state of emergency was largely declared in this state of the nation on March 4, 2020, and as of February 24, 2021, remains in effect. A mandatory statewide stay-at-home order was issued on March 19, 2020, due to increase, which was ended on January 25, 2021, allowing citizens to return to normal life. On April 6, 2021, the state announced plans to fully reopen the economy by June 15, 2021. Geography Covering an area of 163,696 square miles, California is the third largest state in the United States in area, after Alaska and Texas. California is one of the most geographically diverse states in the Union and is often geographically bisected into two regions, Southern California, comprising the ten southernmost counties, and Northern California comprising the 48 northernmost counties. It is bordered by Oregon to the north, Nevada to the east and northeast, Arizona to the southeast, the Pacific Ocean to the west and shares an international border with the Mexican state of Baja California to the south. In the middle of the state lies the California Central Valley, 
bounded by the Sierra Nevada in the east, the coastal mountain ranges in the west, the Cascade Range to the north and by the Tehachapi Mountains in the south. The Central Valley is California's productive agricultural heartland. Divided in two by the Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta, the northern portion, the Sacramento Valley serves as the watershed of the Sacramento River, while the southern portion, the San Joaquin Valley is the watershed for the San Joaquin River. Both valleys derive their names from the rivers that flow through them. With dredging, the Sacramento and the San Joaquin Rivers have remained deep enough for several inland cities to be seaports. The Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta is a critical water supply hub for the state. Water is diverted from the delta and through an extensive network of pumps and canals that traverse nearly the length of the state, to the Central Valley and the state water projects and other needs. Water from the delta provides drinking water for nearly 23 million people, almost two-thirds of the state's population as well as water for farmers on the west side of the San Joaquin Valley. Sassoon Bay lies at the confluence of the Sacramento and San Joaquin Rivers. The water is drained by the Carquinez Strait, which flows into San Pablo Bay, a northern extension of San Francisco Bay, which then connects to the Pacific Ocean via the Golden Gate Strait. The Channel Islands are located off the southern coast, while the Farallon Islands lie west of San Francisco. The Sierra Nevada includes the highest peak in the contiguous 48 states, Mount Whitney, at 14,505 feet. The range embraces Yosemite Valley, famous for its glacially carved domes, and Sequoia National Park, home to the giant sequoia trees, the largest living organisms on Earth, and the deep freshwater lake, Lake Tahoe, the largest lake in the state by volume. To the east of the Sierra Nevada are Owens Valley and Mono Lake, an essential migratory bird habitat. In the western part of the state is Clear Lake, the largest freshwater lake by area entirely in California. Although Lake Tahoe is larger, it is divided by the California-Nevada border. The Sierra Nevada falls to Arctic temperatures in winter and has several dozen small glaciers, including Palisade Glacier the southernmost glacier in the United States. The Tulare Lake was the largest freshwater lake west of the Mississippi River. A remnant of Pleistocene era Lake Corcoran, Tulare Lake dried up by the early 20th century after its tributary rivers were diverted for agricultural irrigation and municipal water uses. About 45% of the state's total surface area is covered by forests and California's diversity of pine species is unmatched by any other state. California contains more forest land than any other state except Alaska. Many of the trees in the California White Mountains are the oldest in the world, an individual bristlecone pine is over 5,000 years old. In the south is a large inland salt lake, the Salton Sea. The south central desert is called the Mojave, to the northeast of the Mojave lies Death Valley, which contains the lowest and hottest place in North America, the Badwater Basin at 279 feet. The horizontal distance from the bottom of Death Valley to the top of Mount Whitney is less than 90 miles. Indeed, almost all of southeastern California is arid, hot desert, with routine extreme high temperatures during the summer. The southeastern border of California with Arizona is entirely formed by the Colorado River from which the southern part of the state gets about half of its water. A majority of California's cities are located in either the San Francisco Bay Area or the Sacramento Metropolitan Area in Northern California, or the Los Angeles Area, the Inland Empire, or the San Diego Metropolitan Area in Southern California. The Los Angeles Area, the Bay Area and the San Diego metropolitan area are among several major metropolitan areas along the California coast. As part of the Ring of Fire, California is subject to tsunamis, floods, droughts, Santa Ana winds, wildfires, landslides on steep terrain, and has several volcanoes. It has many earthquakes due to several faults running through the state 
the largest being the San Andreas Fault. About 37,000 earthquakes are recorded each year, but most are too small to be felt. Climate Although most of the state has a Mediterranean climate, due to the state's large size the climate ranges from polar to subtropical. The cool California current offshore often creates summer fog near the coast. Farther inland, there are colder winters and hotter summers. The maritime moderation results in the shoreline summertime temperatures of Los Angeles and San Francisco being the coolest of all major metropolitan areas of the United States and uniquely cool compared to areas on the same latitude in the interior and on the east coast of the North American continent. Even the San Diego shoreline bordering Mexico is cooler in summer than most areas in the contiguous United States. Just a few miles inland. Summer temperature extremes are significantly higher, with downtown Los Angeles being several degrees warmer than at the coast. The same microclimate phenomenon is seen in the climate of the Bay Area, where areas sheltered from the ocean experience significantly hotter summers in contrast with nearby areas closer to the ocean. Northern parts of the state have more rain than the south. California's mountain ranges also influence the climate. Some of the rainiest parts of the state are west-facing mountain slopes. Northwestern California has a temperate climate, and the Central Valley has a Mediterranean climate but with greater temperature extremes than the coast. The high mountains, including the Sierra Nevada, have an alpine climate with snow in winter and mild to moderate heat in summer. California's mountains produce rain shadows on the eastern side, creating extensive deserts. The higher elevation deserts of eastern California have hot summers and cold winters, while the low deserts east of the southern California mountains have hot summers and nearly frostless mild winters. Death Valley, a desert with large expanses below sea level, is considered the hottest location in the world, the highest temperature in the world, 134 degrees Fahrenheit, was recorded there on July 10, 1913. The lowest temperature in California was 45 degree F on January 20, 1937, in Boca. The table below lists average temperatures for January and August in a selection of places throughout the state, some highly populated and some not. This includes the relatively cool summers of the Humboldt Bay region around Eureka, the extreme heat of Death Valley, and the mountain climate of Mammoth in the Sierra Nevada. Ecology California is one of the ecologically richest and most diverse parts of the world, and includes some of the most endangered ecological communities. California is part of the Nearctic realm and spans a number of terrestrial ecorgions. California's large number of endemic species includes relict species, which have died out elsewhere, such as the Catalina ironwood. Many other endemics originated through differentiation or adaptive radiation, whereby multiple species developed from a common ancestor to take advantage of diverse ecological conditions such as the California lilac. Many California endemics have become endangered, as urbanization, logging, overgrazing, and the introduction of exotic species have encroached on their habitat. Flora and Fauna California boasts several superlatives in its collection of flora, the largest trees, the tallest trees, and the oldest trees. California's native grasses are perennial plants, and there are close to 100 succulent species native to the state. After European contact, these were generally replaced by invasive species of European annual grasses, and, in modern times, California's hills turn a characteristic golden brown in summer. Because California has the greatest diversity of climate and terrain, the state has six life zones which are the Lower Sonoran Desert, Upper Sonoran, Transition, and the Canadian, Hudsonian, and Arctic zones, comprising the state's highest elevations. Plant life in the dry climate of the Lower Sonoran Zone contains a diversity of native cactus, mesquite, and palo verde. The Joshua tree is found in the Mojave Desert. Flowering plants include the dwarf desert poppy and a variety of asters. 
Fremont Cottonwood and Valley Oak thrive in the Central Valley. The Upper Sonoran Zone includes the Chaparral Belt, characterized by forests of small shrubs, stunted trees, and herbaceous plants. Nemophila, mint, phacelia, viola, and the California poppy also flourish in this zone, along with the lupin, more species of which occur here than anywhere else in the world. The transition zone includes most of California's forests with the redwood and the big tree or giant sequoia, among the oldest living things on earth. Tan bark oak, California laurel, sugar pine, madrona, broad-leaved maple, and Douglas fir also grow here. Forest floors are covered with sword fern, alum root, barren wort, and trillium, and there are thickets of huckleberry, azalea, elder, and wild currant. Characteristic wild flowers include varieties of mariposa, tulip, and tiger and leopard lilies. The high elevations of the Canadian zone allow the Jeffrey pine, red fir, and lodgepole pine to thrive. Brushy areas are abundant with dwarf manzanita and ceanothus. The unique Sierra puffball is also found here. Right below the timberline, in the Hudsonian zone, the white bark, foxtail, and silver pines grow. At about 10,500 feet, begins the Arctic zone, a treeless region whose flora include a number of wild flowers, including Sierra primrose, yellow columbine, alpine buttercup, and alpine shooting star. Common plants that have been introduced to the state include the eucalyptus, acacia, pepper tree, geranium, and scotch broom. The species that are federally classified as endangered are the Contra Costa wallflower, Antioch Dunes evening primrose, Solano grass, San Clemente Island larkspur, salt marsh bird's beak, McDonald's Rock Cress, and Santa Barbara Island Live Forever. As of December 1997, 85 plant species were listed as threatened or endangered. In the deserts of the lower Sonoran Zone, the mammals include the jackrabbit, kangaroo rat, squirrel, and opossum. Common birds include the owl, roadrunner, cactus wren, and various species of hawk. The area's reptilian life include the sidewinder viper, desert tortoise, and horned toad. The upper Sonoran zone boasts mammals such as the antelope, brown-footed woodrat, and ring-tailed cat. Birds unique to this zone are the California thrasher, bush tit, and California condor. In the transition zone, there are Colombian black-tailed deer, black bears, gray foxes, cougars, bobcats, and Roosevelt elk. Reptiles such as the garter snakes and rattlesnakes inhabit the zone. In addition, amphibians such as the water puppy and redwood salamander are common too. Birds such as the kingfisher, chickadee, tohi, and hummingbird thrive here as well. The Canadian zone mammals include the mountain weasel, snowshoe hare, and several species of chipmunks. Conspicuous birds include the blue-fronted jay, mountain chickadee, hermit thrush, American dipper, and Townsend's solitaire. As one ascends into the Hudsonian zone, birds become scarcer. While the gray-crowned rosy finch is the only bird native to the high Arctic region, other bird species such as Anna's hummingbird and Clark's nutcracker. Principal mammals found in this region include the Sierra Coney, white-tailed jackrabbit, and the bighorn sheep. As of April 2003, the bighorn sheep was listed as endangered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The fauna found throughout several zones are the mule deer, coyote, mountain lion, northern flicker, and several species of hawk and sparrow. Aquatic life in California thrives from the state's mountain lakes and streams to the rocky Pacific coastline. Numerous trout species are found, among them rainbow, golden, and cutthroat. Migratory species of salmon are common as well. Deep sea life forms include sea bass, yellowfin tuna, barracuda, and several types of whale. Native to the cliffs of Northern California are seals, sea lions, and many types of shorebirds, including migratory species. As of April 2003, 118 California animals were on the federal endangered list, 181 plants were listed as endangered or threatened. 
Endangered animals include the San Joaquin kit fox, Point Arena mountain beaver, Pacific pocket mouse, salt marsh harvest mouse, Moro bay kangaroo rat, Amargosa vole, California least tern, California condor, loggerhead shrike, San Clemente sage sparrow, San Francisco garter snake, five species of salamander, three species of chub, and two species of pupfish. Eleven butterflies are also endangered and two that are threatened are on the federal list. Among threatened animals are the coastal California gnatcatcher, Paiute cutthroat trout, southern sea otter, and northern spotted owl. California has a total of 290,821 acres of national wildlife refuges. As of September 2010, 123 California animals were listed as either endangered or threatened on the federal list. Also, as of the same year, 178 species of California plants were listed either as endangered or threatened on this federal list. Rivers The most prominent river system within California is formed by the Sacramento River and San Joaquin River which are fed mostly by snowmelt from the west slope of the Sierra Nevada, and respectively drain the north and south halves of the Central Valley. The two rivers join in the Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta, flowing into the Pacific Ocean through San Francisco Bay. Many major tributaries feed into the Sacramento-San Joaquin system, including the Pitt River, Feather River, and Tuolumne River. The Klamath and Trinity Rivers drain a large area in far northwestern California. The Eel River and Salinas River each drain portions of the California coast, north and south of San Francisco Bay, respectively. The Mojave River is the primary watercourse in the Mojave Desert, and the Santa Ana River drains much of the transverse ranges as it bisects Southern California. The Colorado River forms the state's southeast border with Arizona. Most of California's major rivers are dammed as part of two massive water projects, the Central Valley Project, providing water for agriculture in the Central Valley, and the California State Water Project diverting water from northern to southern California. The state's coasts, rivers, and other bodies of water are regulated by the California Coastal Commission. Regions California is traditionally separated into Northern California and Southern California, divided by a straight border which runs across the state, separating the northern 48 counties from the southern 10 counties. Despite the persistence of the Northern-Southern divide, California is more precisely divided into many regions, multiple of which stretch across the Northern-Southern divide. Major Divisions Northern California Southern California Regions Cities and Towns The state has 482 incorporated cities and towns, of which 460 are cities and 22 are towns. Under California law, the terms city and town are explicitly interchangeable, the name of an incorporated municipality in the state can either be city of or town of. Sacramento became California's first incorporated city on February 27, 1850. San Jose, San Diego, and Benicia tied for California's second incorporated city, each receiving incorporation on March 27, 1850. Jerupa Valley became the state's most recent and 482nd incorporated municipality. On July 1, 2011. The majority of these cities and towns are within one of five metropolitan areas the Los Angeles Metropolitan Area, the San Francisco Bay Area, the Riverside San Bernardino Area, the San Diego Metropolitan Area, or the Sacramento Metropolitan Area. Demographics Population One out of every eight Americans live in California. The United States Census Bureau reported that the population of California was 39,538,223 on April 1, 2020, a 6.13% increase since the 2010 United States Census. The estimated population as of 2022 is 39.22 million. 
For over a century, California experienced an explosion in population growth, adding an average of more than 300,000 people per year. California's rate of growth began to slow by the 1990s, although it continued to experience population growth in the first two decades of the 21st century. The state experienced population declines in 2020 and 2021, attributable to declining birth rates, COVID-19 pandemic deaths, and less internal migration from other states to California. The greater Los Angeles area is the second largest metropolitan area in the United States, after the New York metropolitan area, while Los Angeles, with nearly half the population of New York City, is the second largest city in the United States. Conversely, San Francisco, with nearly one quarter the population density of Manhattan, is the most densely populated city in California and one of the most densely populated cities in the United States. Also, Los Angeles County has held the title of most populous United States County for decades, and it alone is more populous than 42 U.S. states. Including Los Angeles, four of the top 20 most populous cities in the U.S. are in California, Los Angeles, San Diego, San Jose, and San Francisco. The center of population of California is located four miles west-southwest of the city of Shafter, Kern County. As of 2019, California ranks second among states by life expectancy, with a life expectancy of 78.4 years. Starting in the year 2010, for the first time since the California Gold Rush, California-born residents make up the majority of the state's population. Along with the rest of the United States, California's immigration pattern has also shifted over the course of the late 2000s to early 2010s. Immigration from Latin American countries has dropped significantly with most immigrants now coming from Asia. In total for 2011, there were 277,304 immigrants. 57% came from Asian countries versus 22% from Latin American countries. Net immigration from Mexico, previously the most common country of origin for new immigrants, has dropped to zero slash less than zero since more Mexican nationals are departing for their home country than immigrating. The state's population of undocumented immigrants has been shrinking in recent years due to increased enforcement and decreased job opportunities for lower-skilled workers. The number of migrants arrested attempting to cross the Mexican border in the southwest decreased from a high of 1.1 million in 2005 to 367,000 in 2011. Despite these recent trends, illegal aliens constituted an estimated 7.3% of the state's population, the third highest percentage of any state in the country, totaling nearly 2.6 million. In particular, illegal immigrants tended to be concentrated in Los Angeles, Monterey, San Benito, Imperial, and Napa counties the latter four of which have significant agricultural industries that depend on manual labor. More than half of illegal immigrants originate from Mexico. The state of California and some California cities, including Los Angeles, Oakland, and San Francisco, have adopted sanctuary policies. Race and Ethnicity According to the United States Census Bureau in 2018 the population self-identified as 72.1% white, 36.8% non-Hispanic whites, 15.3% Asian, 6.5% Black or African American, 1.6% Native American and Alaska Native, 0.5% Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, and 3.9% two or more races. By ethnicity, in 2018 the population was 60.7% non-Hispanic and 39.3% Hispanic or Latino. Hispanics are the largest single ethnic group in California. Non-Hispanic whites constituted 36.8% of the state's population. Californios are the Hispanic residents native to California, 
who make up the Spanish-speaking community that has existed in California since 1542, of varying Mexican-American slash Chicano, Criollo Spaniard, and Mestizo origin. As of 2011, 75.1% of California's population younger than age 1 were minorities meaning they had at least one parent who was not non-Hispanic white. In terms of total numbers, California has the largest population of white Americans in the United States, an estimated 22,200,000 residents. The state has the fifth largest population of African Americans in the United States, an estimated 2,250,000 residents. California's Asian American population is estimated at 4.4 million, constituting a third of the nation's total. California's Native American population of 285,000 is the most of any state. According to estimates from 2011, California has the largest minority population in the United States by numbers, making up 60% of the state population. Over the past 25 years, the population of non-Hispanic whites has declined, while Hispanic and Asian populations have grown. Between 1970 and 2011, non-Hispanic whites declined from 80% of the state's population to 40%, while Hispanics grew from 32% in 2000 to 38% in 2011. It is currently projected that Hispanics will rise to 49% of the population by 2060 primarily due to domestic births rather than immigration. With the decline of immigration from Latin America, Asian Americans now constitute the fastest-growing racial-slash-ethnic group in California, this growth is primarily driven by immigration from China, India, and the Philippines, respectively. Languages English serves as California's de jure and de facto official language. In 2010, the Modern Language Association of America estimated that 57.02% of California residents age 5 and older spoke only English at home, while 42.98% spoke another language at home. According to the 2007 American Community Survey, 73% of people who speak a language other than English at home are able to speak English well or very well while 9.8% of them could not speak English at all. Like most U.S. states, California law enshrines English as its official language, and has done so since the passage of Proposition 63 by California voters in 1986. Various government agencies do, and are often required to, furnish documents in the various languages needed to reach their intended audiences. In total, 16 languages other than English were spoken as primary languages at home by more than 100,000 persons, more than any other state in the nation. New York State, in second place, had nine languages other than English spoken by more than 100,000 persons. The most common language spoken besides English was Spanish, spoken by 28.46% of the population. With Asia contributing most of California's new immigrants, California had the highest concentration nationwide of Vietnamese and Chinese speakers, the second highest concentration of Korean, and the third highest concentration of Tagalog speakers. California has historically been one of the most linguistically diverse areas in the world, with more than 70 indigenous languages derived from 64 root languages and six language families. A survey conducted between 2007 and 2009 identified 23 different indigenous languages among California farm workers. All of California's indigenous languages are endangered, although there are now efforts toward language revitalization. As a result of the state's increasing diversity and in migration from other areas across the country and around the globe, Linguists began noticing a noteworthy set of emerging characteristics of spoken American English in California since the late 20th century. This variety, known as California English, has a vowel shift and several other phonological processes that are different from varieties of American English used in other regions of the United States. Religion 
the largest religious denominations by number of adherents as a percentage of California's population in 2014 were the Catholic Church with 28%, Evangelical Protestants with 20%, and Mainline Protestants with 10%. Together, all kinds of Protestants accounted for 32%. Those unaffiliated with any religion represented 27% of the population. The breakdown of other religions is 1% Muslim, 2% Hindu, and 2% Buddhist. This is a change from 2008, when the population identified their religion with the Catholic Church with 31%, Evangelical Protestants with 18%, and Mainline Protestants with 14%. In 2008, those unaffiliated with any religion represented 21% of the population. The breakdown of other religions in 2008 was 0.5% Muslim, 1% Hindu, and 2% Buddhist. The American Jewish Yearbook placed the total Jewish population of California at about 1,194,190 in 2006. According to the Association of Religion Data Archives the largest denominations by adherents in 2010 were the Catholic Church with 10,233,334, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with 763,818, and the Southern Baptist Convention with 489,953. The first priests to come to California were Catholic missionaries from Spain. Catholics founded 21 missions along the California coast, as well as the cities of Los Angeles and San Francisco. California continues to have a large Catholic population due to the large numbers of Mexicans and Central Americans living within its borders. California has 12 dioceses and two archdioceses, the Archdiocese of Los Angeles and the Archdiocese of San Francisco the former being the largest archdiocese in the United States. A Pew Research Center survey revealed that California is somewhat less religious than the rest of the states, 62% of Californians say they are absolutely certain of their belief in God, while in the nation 71% say so. The survey also revealed 48% of Californians say religion is very important, compared to 56% nationally. Culture. The culture of California is a Western culture and most clearly has its modern roots in the culture of the United States, but also, historically, many Hispanic Californio and Mexican influences. As a border and coastal state, Californian culture has been greatly influenced by several large immigrant populations, especially those from Latin America and Asia. California has long been a subject of interest in the public mind and has often been promoted by its boosters as a kind of paradise. In the early 20th century, fueled by the efforts of state and local boosters, many Americans saw the Golden State as an ideal resort destination, sunny and dry all year round with easy access to the ocean and mountains. In the 1960s, Popular music groups such as the Beach Boys promoted the image of Californians as laid-back, tanned beachgoers. The California gold rush of the 1850s is still seen as a symbol of California's economic style, which tends to generate technology, social, entertainment, and economic fads and booms and related busts. Media and Entertainment Hollywood and the rest of the Los Angeles area is a major global center for entertainment, with the U.S. film industry's big five major film studios being based in or around the area. The four major American television broadcast networks all have production facilities and offices in the state. All four, plus the two major Spanish-language networks each have at least two owned and operated TV stations in California one in Los Angeles and one in the San Francisco Bay Area. The San Francisco Bay Area is home to several prominent Internet media and social media companies, including three of the big five technology companies as well as other services such as Netflix, Pandora Radio, Twitter, Yahoo, and YouTube. One of the oldest radio stations in the United States still in existence, KCBS in the Bay Area 
was founded in 1909. Universal Music Group, one of the big four record labels, is based in Santa Monica. California is also the birthplace of several international music genres, including the Bakersfield Sound, Bay Area Thrash Metal, G-Funk, New Metal, Stoner Rock, Surf Music, West Coast Hip Hop, and West Coast Jazz. Sports California has 19 major professional sports league franchises, far more than any other state. The San Francisco Bay Area has six major league teams spread in its three major cities, San Francisco, San Jose, and Oakland, while the greater Los Angeles area is home to ten major league franchises. San Diego and Sacramento each have one major league team. The NFL Super Bowl has been hosted in California 12 times at five different stadiums, Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, the Rose Bowl, Stanford Stadium, Levi's Stadium, and San Diego's Qualcomm Stadium. A 13th, Super Bowl LVI, was held at Sophie Stadium in Inglewood on February 13, 2022. California has long had many respected collegiate sports programs. California is home to the oldest college bowl game, the annual Rose Bowl, among others. California is the only U.S. state to have hosted both the Summer and Winter Olympics. The 1932 and 1984 Summer Games were held in Los Angeles. Squaw Valley Ski Resort in the Lake Tahoe region hosted the 1960 Winter Olympics. Los Angeles will host the 2028 Summer Olympics, marking the fourth time that California will have hosted the Olympic Games. Multiple games during the 1994 FIFA World Cup took place in California, with the Rose Bowl hosting eight matches, while Stanford Stadium hosted six matches. Education California has the most school students in the country, with over 6.2 million in the 2005-06 school year, giving California more students in school than 36 states have in total population and one of the highest projected enrollments in the country. Public secondary education consists of high schools that teach elective courses in trades, languages, and liberal arts with tracks for gifted, college-bound and industrial arts students. California's public educational system is supported by a unique constitutional amendment that requires a minimum annual funding level for grades K-12 and community colleges that grows with the economy and student enrollment figures. In 2016, California's K-12 public school per pupil spending was ranked 22nd in the nation. For 2012, California's K-12 public schools ranked 48th in the number of employees per student at 0.102, while paying the seventh most per employee, $49,000.A2007 study concluded that California's public school system was broken in that it suffered from over-regulation. Higher Education California public post-secondary education is organized into three separate systems. The state's public research university system is the University of California. As of fall 2011, the University of California had a combined student body of 234,464 students. There are 10 UC campuses. Nine are general campuses offering both undergraduate and graduate programs which culminate in the award of bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and doctorates. There is one specialized campus, UC San Francisco which is entirely dedicated to graduate education in health care, and is home to the UCSF Medical Center, the highest-ranked hospital in California. The system was originally intended to accept the top one-eighth of California high school students, but several of the campuses have become even more selective. The UC system historically held exclusive authority to award the doctorate, but this has since changed and CSU now has limited statutory authorization to award a handful of types of doctoral degrees independently of UC. The California State University system has almost 430,000 students. 
the CSU was originally intended to accept the top one-third of California high school students, but several of the campuses have become much more selective. The CSU was originally authorized to award only bachelor's and master's degrees, and could award the doctorate only as part of joint programs with UC or private universities. Since then, CSU has been granted the authority to independently award several doctoral degrees. The California Community Colleges system provides lower division coursework culminating in the associate degree, as well as basic skills and workforce training culminating in various kinds of certificates. It is the largest network of higher education in the U.S., composed of 112 colleges serving a student population of over 2.6 million. California is also home to such notable private universities as Stanford University, the California Institute of Technology, the University of Southern California, the Claremont Colleges, Santa Clara University, Loyola Marymount University, the University of San Diego, the University of San Francisco, Chapman University, Pepperdine University, Occidental College, and University of the Pacific, among numerous other private colleges and universities, including many religious and special-purpose institutions. California has a particularly high density of arts colleges, including the California College of the Arts, California Institute of the Arts, San Francisco Art Institute, Art Center College of Design, and Academy of Art University, among others. Economy California's economy ranks among the largest in the world. As of 2021, the gross state product was $3.3 trillion, the largest in the United States. California is responsible for one-seventh of the nation's gross domestic product. As of 2018, California's nominal GDP is larger than all but four countries. In terms of purchasing power parity, it is larger than all but eight countries. California's economy is larger than Africa and Australia and is almost as large as South America. The state recorded total, non-farm employment of 16,677,800 as of September 2021 among 966,224 employer establishments. The five largest sectors of employment in California are trade, transportation, and utilities, government, professional and business services, education and health services, and leisure and hospitality. In output, the five largest sectors are financial services, followed by trade, transportation, and utilities, education and health services, government, and manufacturing. California has an unemployment rate of 3.9% as of September 2022. California's economy is dependent on trade and international related commerce accounts for about one quarter of the state's economy. In 2008, California exported $144 billion worth of goods, up from $134 billion in 2007 and $127 billion in 2006. Computers and electronic products are California's top export, accounting for 42% of all the state's exports in 2008. Agriculture is an important sector in California's economy. Farming-related sales more than quadrupled over the past three decades, from $7.3 billion in 1974 to nearly $31 billion in 2004. This increase has occurred despite a 15% decline in acreage devoted to farming during the period, and water supply suffering from chronic instability. Factors contributing to the growth in sales per acre include more intensive use of active farmlands and technological improvements in crop production. In 2008, California's 81,500 farms and ranches generated $36.2 billion products revenue. In 2011, that number grew to $43.5 billion products revenue. The agriculture sector accounts for 2% of the state's GDP and employs around 3% of its total workforce. 
According to the USDA in 2011, the three largest California agricultural products by value were milk and cream, shelled almonds, and grapes. Per capita GDP in 2007 was $38,956, ranking 11th in the nation. Per capita income varies widely by geographic region and profession. The Central Valley is the most impoverished, with migrant farm workers making less than minimum wage. According to a 2005 report by the Congressional Research Service, the San Joaquin Valley was characterized as one of the most economically depressed regions in the United States, on PAR with the region of Appalachia. Using the Supplemental Poverty Measure, California has a poverty rate of 23.5%, the highest of any state in the country. However, Using the official measure the poverty rate was only 13.3% as of 2017. Many coastal cities include some of the wealthiest per capita areas in the United States. The high technology sectors in Northern California, specifically Silicon Valley, in Santa Clara and San Mateo counties, have emerged from the economic downturn caused by the dot-com bust. In 2019, there were 1,042,027 millionaire households in the state, more than any other state in the nation. In 2010, California residents were ranked first among the states with the best average credit score of 754. State Finances State spending increased from $56 billion in 1998 to $127 billion in 2011. California has the third highest per capita spending on welfare among the states, as well as the highest spending on welfare at $6.67 billion. In January 2011, California's total debt was at least $265 billion. On June 27, 2013, Governor Jerry Brown signed a balanced budget for the state, its first in decades. However the state's debt remains at $132 billion. With the passage of Proposition 30 in 2012 and Proposition 55 in 2016, California now levies a 13.3% maximum marginal income tax rate with 10 tax brackets, ranging from 1% at the bottom tax bracket of $0 annual individual income to 13.3% for annual individual income over $1 million. While Proposition 30 also enacted a minimum state sales tax of 7.5%, this sales tax increase was not extended by Proposition 55 and reverted to a previous minimum state sales tax rate of 7.25% in 2017. Local governments can and do levy additional sales taxes in addition to this minimum rate. All real property is taxable annually. The ad valorem tax is based on the property's fair market value at the time of purchase or the value of new construction. Property tax increases are capped at 2% annually or the rate of inflation, per Proposition 13. Infrastructure Energy Because it is the most populous state in the United States, California is one of the country's largest users of energy. However, because of its high energy rates, conservation mandates, mild weather in the largest population centers and strong environmental movement, its per capita energy use is one of the smallest of any state in the United States. Due to the high electricity demand, California imports more electricity than any other state, primarily hydroelectric power from states in the Pacific Northwest and coal and natural gas-fired production from the desert southwest via Path 46. The state's crude oil and natural gas deposits are located in the Central Valley and along the coast, including the large Midway Sunset oil field. Natural gas-fired power plants typically account for more than one-half of state electricity generation. As a result of the state's strong environmental movement, California has some of the most aggressive renewable energy goals in the United States, with the target for California to obtain a third of its electricity from renewables by 2020. Currently, 
several solar power plants such as the Solar Energy Generating Systems Facility are located in the Mojave Desert. California's wind farms include Altamont Pass, San Gorgonio Pass, and Tehachapi Pass. The Tehachapi area is also where the Tehachapi Energy Storage Project is located. Several dams across the state provide hydroelectric power. It would be possible to convert the total supply to 100% renewable energy, including heating, cooling and mobility, by 2050. California is also home to two major nuclear power plants, Diablo Canyon and San Onofre, the latter having been shut down in 2013. More than 1,700 tons of radioactive waste are stored at San Onofre, which sits in an area where there is a record of past tsunamis. Voters banned the approval of new nuclear power plants since the late 1970s because of concerns over radioactive waste disposal. In addition, several cities such as Oakland, Berkeley and Davis have declared themselves as nuclear-free zones. Transportation California's vast terrain is connected by an extensive system of controlled access highways, limited access roads, and highways. California is known for its car culture, giving California's cities a reputation for severe traffic congestion. Construction and maintenance of state roads and statewide transportation planning are primarily the responsibility of the California Department of Transportation, nicknamed Caltrans. The rapidly growing population of the state is straining all of its transportation networks, and California has some of the worst roads in the United States. The Reason Foundation's 19th Annual Report on the Performance of State Highway Systems ranked California's highways the third worst of any state, with Alaska second, and Rhode Island first. The state has been a pioneer in road construction. One of the state's more visible landmarks, the Golden Gate Bridge, was the longest suspension bridge main span in the world at 4,200 feet between 1937 and 1964. With its orange paint and panoramic views of the bay, this highway bridge is a popular tourist attraction and also accommodates pedestrians and bicyclists. The San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, completed in 1936, transports about 280,000 vehicles per day on two decks. Its two sections meet at Yerba Buena Island through the world's largest diameter transportation bore tunnel, at 76 feet wide by 58 feet high. The Arroyo Seco Parkway, connecting Los Angeles and Pasadena, opened in 1940 as the first freeway in the western United States. It was later extended south to the four-level interchange in downtown Los Angeles, regarded as the first stack interchange ever built. Los Angeles International Airport, the fourth busiest airport in the world in 2018, and San Francisco International Airport, the 25th busiest airport in the world in 2018, are major hubs for trans-Pacific and transcontinental traffic. There are about a dozen important commercial airports and many more general aviation airports throughout the state. California also has several major seaports. The Port of Los Angeles and the Port of Long Beach in Southern California are the largest and second largest seaports in the U.S., respectively, by volume of container cargo handled, as of 2018. Collectively they handle 31.9% of all TEUs in the United States. The Port of Oakland and Port of Wyneme are the 10th and 26th largest seaports in the U.S., respectively, by number of TEUs handled. The California Highway Patrol is the largest statewide police agency in the United States in employment with more than 10,000 employees. They are responsible for providing any police-sanctioned service to anyone on California's state-maintained highways and on state property. By the end of 2021, 30,610,058 people in California held a California Department of Motor Vehicles issued driver's licenses or state identification card, and there were 36,229,205 registered vehicles 
including 25,643,076 automobiles, 853,368 motorcycles, 8,981,787 trucks and trailers, and 121,716 miscellaneous vehicles. Intercity rail travel is provided by Amtrak California, the three routes, the Capital Corridor, Pacific Safliner, and San Joaquin, are funded by Caltrans. These services are the busiest intercity rail lines in the United States outside the Northeast Corridor and ridership is continuing to set records. The routes are becoming increasingly popular over flying, especially on the LAX SFO route. Integrated subway and light rail networks are found in Los Angeles and San Francisco. Light rail systems are also found in San Jose, San Diego, Sacramento, and northern San Diego County. Furthermore, commuter rail networks serve the San Francisco Bay Area, Greater Los Angeles, and San Diego County. The California High-Speed Rail Authority was created in 1996 by the state to implement an extensive 800-mile rail system. Construction was approved by the voters during the November 2008 general election, with the first phase of construction estimated to cost $64.20 billion. Nearly all counties operate bus lines, and many cities operate their own city bus lines as well. Intercity bus travel is provided by Greyhound, Megabus, and Amtrak Thruway Motor Coach. Water California's interconnected water system is the world's largest, managing over 40 million acre-feet of water per year, centered on six main systems of aqueducts and infrastructure projects. Water use and conservation in California is a politically divisive issue, as the state experiences periodic droughts and has to balance the demands of its large agricultural and urban sectors, especially in the arid southern portion of the state. The state's widespread redistribution of water also invites the frequent scorn of environmentalists. The California Water Wars, a conflict between Los Angeles and the Owens Valley over water rights, is one of the most well-known examples of the struggle to secure adequate water supplies. Former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger said, We've been in crisis for quite some time because we're now 38 million people and not any more 18 million people like we were in the late 60s. So it developed into a battle between environmentalists and farmers and between the South and the North and between rural and urban. And everyone has been fighting for the last four decades about water. Government and Politics State Government the capital city of California is Sacramento. The state is organized into three branches of government the executive branch consisting of the governor and the other independently elected constitutional officers, the legislative branch consisting of the Assembly and Senate, and the judicial branch consisting of the Supreme Court of California and lower courts. The state also allows ballot propositions, direct participation of the electorate by initiative, referendum, recall, and ratification. Before the passage of California Proposition 14, California allowed each political party to choose whether to have a closed primary or a primary where only party members and independents vote. After June 8, 2010, when Proposition 14 was approved, accepting only the United States President and County Central Committee offices, all candidates in the primary elections are listed on the ballot with their preferred party affiliation, but they are not the official nominee of that party. At the primary election, the two candidates with the top votes will advance to the general election regardless of party affiliation. If at a special primary election, one candidate receives more than 50% of all the votes cast, they are elected to fill the vacancy and no special general election will be held. Judicial Branch California's legal system is explicitly based upon English common law but carries many features from Spanish civil law, such as community property. California's prison population grew from 25,000 in 1980 to over 170,000 in 2007. 
Capital punishment is a legal form of punishment and the state has the largest death row population in the country. California has performed 13 executions since 1976, with the last being in 2006. California's judiciary system is the largest in the United States with a total of 1,600 judges. At the apex is the seven member Supreme Court of California while the California Courts of Appeal serve as the primary appellate courts and the California Superior Courts serve as the primary trial courts. Justices of the Supreme Court and Courts of Appeal are appointed by the governor, but are subject to retention by the electorate every 12 years. The administration of the state's court system is controlled by the Judicial Council, composed of the Chief Justice of the California Supreme Court, 14 judicial officers, four representatives from the State Bar of California, and one member from each house of the state legislature. In fiscal year 2020-21, the state judiciary's 2,000 judicial officers and 18,000 judicial branch employees processed approximately 4.4 million cases. Executive Branch the California Executive Branch consists of the Governor and seven other elected constitutional officers, Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General, Secretary of State, State Controller, State Treasurer, Insurance Commissioner, and State Superintendent of Public Instruction. They serve four-year terms and may be re-elected only once. Legislative Branch the California State Legislature consists of a 40-member Senate and 80-member Assembly. Senators serve four-year terms and Assembly members too. Members of the Assembly are subject to term limits of six terms, and members of the Senate are subject to term limits of three terms. Local Government California has an extensive system of local government that manages public functions throughout the state. Like most states, California is divided into counties, of which there are 58 covering the entire state. Most urbanized areas are incorporated as cities, school districts, which are independent of cities and counties, handle public education. Many other functions, especially in unincorporated areas, are handled by special districts. Counties City and Town Governments School Districts and Special Districts Federal Representation The State of California sends 53 members to the House of Representatives, the nation's largest congressional state delegation. Consequently, California also has the largest number of electoral votes in national presidential elections, with 55. The current Speaker of the House of Representatives is the representative of California's 12th District, Nancy Pelosi, Kevin McCarthy, representing the state's 23rd district, is the House Minority Leader. California is represented by U.S. Senators Dianne Feinstein, a native and former mayor of San Francisco, and Alex Padilla, a native and former Secretary of State of California. Former U.S. Senator Kamala Harris, a native, former district attorney from San Francisco, former Attorney General of California, resigned on January 18, 2021, to assume her role as the current Vice President of the United States. In the 1992 U.S. Senate election, California became the first state to elect a Senate delegation entirely composed of women, due to the victories of Feinstein and Barbara Boxer. Set to follow the Vice President-elect, Governor Newsom appointed Secretary of State Alex Padilla to finish the rest of Harris's term which ends in 2022, Padilla has vowed to run for the full term in that election cycle. Padilla was sworn in on January 20, 2021, the same day as the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden as well as Harris. Armed Forces In California, as of 2009, the U.S. Department of Defense had a total of 117,806 active duty service members of which 88,370 were sailors or marines, 18,339 were airmen, and 11,097 were soldiers, 
with 61,365 Department of Defense civilian employees. Additionally, there were a total of 57,792 reservists and guardsmen in California. In 2010, Los Angeles County was the largest origin of military recruits in the United States by county, with 1,437 individuals enlisting in the military. However, as of 2002, Californians were relatively underrepresented in the military as a proportion to its population. In 2000, California had 2,569,340 veterans of United States military service, 504,010 served in World War II, 301,034 in the Korean War, 754,682 during the Vietnam War and 278,003 during 1992-2000. As of 2010, there were 1,942,775 veterans living in California, of which 1,457,875 served during a period of armed conflict and just over 4,000 served before World War II. California's military forces consist of the Army and Air National Guard, the Naval and State Military Reserve, and the California Cadet Corps. On August 5, 1950, a nuclear-capable United States Air Force Boeing B-29 Superfortress bomber carrying a nuclear bomb crashed shortly after takeoff from Fairfield Sassoon Air Force Base. Brigadier General Robert F. Travis, command pilot of the bomber, was among the dead. Ideology California has an idiosyncratic political culture compared to the rest of the country, and is sometimes regarded as a trendsetter. In socio-cultural mores and national politics, Californians are perceived as more liberal than other Americans, especially those who live in the inland states. In the 2016 United States presidential election, California had the third highest percentage of Democratic votes behind the District of Columbia and Hawaii. In the 2020 United States presidential election, it had the sixth highest behind the District of Columbia, Vermont, Massachusetts, Maryland, and Hawaii. According to the Cook Political Report, California contains five of the 15 most Democratic congressional districts in the United States. Among the political idiosyncrasies, California was the second state to recall their state governor, the second state to legalize abortion, and the only state to ban marriage for gay couples twice by vote. Voters also passed Proposition 71 in 2004 to fund stem cell research, making California the second state to legalize stem cell research after New Jersey, and Proposition 14 in 2010 to completely change the state's primary election process. California has also experienced disputes over water rights, and a tax revolt, culminating with the passage of Proposition 13 in 1978, limiting state property taxes. California voters have rejected affirmative action on multiple occasions, most recently in November 2020. The state's trend towards the Democratic Party and away from the Republican Party can be seen in state elections. From 1899 to 1939, California had Republican governors. Since 1990, California has generally elected Democratic candidates to federal, state and local offices, including current Governor Gavin Newsom, however, the state has elected Republican governors, though many of its Republican governors, such as Arnold Schwarzenegger, tend to be considered moderate Republicans and more centrist than the National Party. Several political movements have advocated for Californian independence. The California National Party and the California Freedom Coalition both advocate for Californian independence along the lines of progressivism and civic nationalism. The Yes California movement attempted to organize an independence referendum via ballot initiative for 2019, which was then postponed. The Democrats also now hold a supermajority in both houses of the state legislature. 
There are 60 Democrats and 20 Republicans in the Assembly, and 29 Democrats and 11 Republicans in the Senate. The trend towards the Democratic Party is most obvious in presidential elections. From 1952 through 1988, California was a Republican-leaning state, with the party carrying the state's electoral votes in nine of ten elections, with 1964 as the exception. Southern California Republicans Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan were both elected twice as the 37th and 40th U.S. presidents, respectively. However, Democrats have won all of California's electoral votes for the last eight elections, starting in 1992. In the United States House, the Democrats held a 34-19 edge in the CA delegation of the 110th United States Congress in 2007. As the result of gerrymandering, the districts in California were usually dominated by one or the other party, and few districts were considered competitive. In 2008, Californians passed Proposition 20 to empower a 14-member Independent Citizen Commission to redraw districts for both local politicians and Congress. After the 2012 elections, when the new system took effect, Democrats gained four seats and held a 38-15 majority in the delegation. Following the 2018 midterm House elections, Democrats won 46 out of 53 congressional House seats in California, leaving Republicans with seven. In general, Democratic strength is centered in the populous coastal regions of the Los Angeles metropolitan area and the San Francisco Bay Area. Republican strength is still greatest in eastern parts of the state. Orange County had remained largely Republican until the 2016 and 2018 elections in which a majority of the county's votes were cast for Democratic candidates. One study ranked Berkeley, Oakland, Inglewood, and San Francisco in the top 20 most liberal American cities, and Bakersfield, Orange, Escondido, Garden Grove, and Sima Valley in the top 20 most conservative cities. In February 2021, out of the 25,166,581 people eligible to vote, 22,154,304 people were registered to vote. Of the people registered, the three largest registered groups were Democrats, Republicans, and no party preference. Los Angeles County had the largest number of registered Democrats and Republicans of any county in the state. In a 2020 study, California was ranked as the 10th easiest state for citizens to vote in. Twin Regions California has region twinning arrangements with Catalonia, Autonomous Community of Spain Alberta, Province of Canada See also Index of California-related articles Outline of California Notes References